Hey! Damn Show 2018 continues. Mike Lewis in the house, ladies and gentlemen, an old compatriot. We've fought many battles side by side. Yes, we have. And it's been glorious. Yes. And here we are once again to spread the word, if you will, about new Fender creations. New and old, if you will. New and old. You were just showing me some of these glorious historical anomalies, if you will, that yeah. have been re culled from the past <laughs> and brought forth. Unearthed from antiquity. Indeed! <laughs> Let's talk right about this one right here because this is this is my jam right here. Okay, so this is the vintage custom series, new for the custom shop this year. And the whole idea behind this is we've gone back into the archives and, uh, and brought back some features and specs that are literally lost to antiquity. Yes. Okay? I love that term, you know. Lost to antiquity. It's like the pyramids. And uh, so we found some things that were very little known facts about some of these vintage guitars. Some of the very early ones had compound radiuses. I'm sure it wasn't intentional. Right. Okay? Just sort of came out that way. And so this series represents like the first of something or some unusual specs that you didn't find all the time. Think maybe things that didn't make it or things that were part of a prototype or something like that. This 55 Strat right here, and we didn't use the 54 because we only do those every 10 years. Yes, right? of course. Okay. So the 55 Strat here is a trans Transitional model with 54 covers. Love right? it. A little rounder. Exactly. And then what we call the modern knob, the, the knob that came in 1955, right? But you see the finish on this, it looks like it's got a little bit of orange peel in it. Yes. Okay, this is the flash coat lacquer, very, very thin. Yes. And there's no buffing to it. Okay, so that's why it kind of looks that way. And to match this, we used closet classic hardware, so it looks like it's a time capsule. Got it. As if you open the case, it's been in the box, never open, you open it up, and that's what you would see. What kind of a girthsome neck we got on this beast? It's a 54 neck. Oh, yeah. So it's seven and a quarter to nine and a half inch radius, and we actually found more than a few original examples of of original fenders with that radius. Again, I'm sure it wasn't intentional. Right. And we also came up with a new fret that's a little bit bigger than vintage and smaller than 6105. Okay. 850 wide by 550 tall. It's extremely cool. If you like the, the yeah, vintage yeah. kind of fret and the rounder fingerboard, it really just feels like an old guitar. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. The weight is perfect. Oh, I love that. You talk about weight now. Oh, Lord. You know, before the Telecaster, there was what? The Nocaster. Yes. And before that, there was the what? The Broadcaster, right? Yes. Well, before that, there was the Double Esquire. The Double? Right, because the first guitar was the Esquire, right? Had one pickup. People said, we need two pickups. So he made it with two pickups. And then they said, what is it, one or two? <laughs> right? Right. So it actually predates the Broadcaster. This thing is ridiculous. Same deal, same kind of finish, same radius, same frets, okay? Now here, we came up with a whole new set of pickups called the 5051 Black Guard pickups. So they got the bigger magnets, bigger around Alnico 3s, bigger diameter Alnico 5s, dipped in shellac, not wax, thinner wire, okay? So it's like the magic recipe for like the early, early, right. early Black Guards. The wiring, it's like original blend control type wiring, so we modified it a little bit. Down here is volume, and then a blend for the neck. Oh! Okay, so the lost to antiquity broadcaster sound is this position with this backed off a little bit. Uh-huh. You can't get that on any other guitar. Can't get it. Can't get it. Can't. You can try? Middle position, neck only, no tone. Loud, full, juicy sound. This position, it engages a small cap and a 10K resistor. It lowers the volume a little bit and rolls off the highs a little bit on this. So you have an instantaneous, perfect, beautiful little rhythm sound. From that to that. And for those who can't deal with that crazy old wiring, <laughs> it comes with a, a whole nother assembly. A whole nother assembly. <laughs> that's Just in case you want to like solder it together. This, so that's a double Esquire. This thing weighs not, what's the weight on this thing? It's you know, be. it's light. It's very light. Very light. Blindingly light. <laughs> so uh, is this something that's going to be made available for ever? Or is it just this year? Forever. 
and next year we'll come up with a whole other additional group. So there'll be this it. and more. Yeah, and you can order these in any color you want, relic, extra relic, NOS, anything you want. Take it. That's the base model. I like that. 59 Strat, because it was the first year for Rosewood. Right. Right. 59 Tele Custom, first year for Tele Custom. This is the chocolate sunburst with the plum colored sides. Uh, so these all have that compound radius thing? All of them. Okay. And those frets. 